Welcome to Fluorescent. Today we have with us Bonnie Chan. Bonnie is a London-based Hong Konger, theatre maker and researcher trained in the Royal Central School of Speech and Drama. She co-founded Little Bean Theatre, the first and only Cantonese-speaking family theatre company in the UK. Her works have been presented at various events and festivals. For example, Freedom High and Bobo Finds Home at the Vault Festival, When He Fell at Cannes Festival and Camden Fringe, Bobo's New Friends at Little Angel Theatre, Risk Lab at Camden People's Theatre, and performances at various other festivals such as Greenwich Theatre, International Arts Festivals and Conferences. Hi Bonnie, how are you? Hi, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Can you tell me where you are in the world right now and where in the world you are from? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm now in London, in the UK, and I'm from Hong Kong. Uh, can you just like, can you just give me a rundown of what you do basically as a creative? Um, so I am a theatre maker. Mostly my work would be devising work. We write together, we devise together, and then co-direct as an ensemble. I act as well. It's quite, it's really different because, um, because Hong Kong is really small. So the theatre sector is really small as well. There's only one academy which is training actors and people in theatre. But there are a lot of like um, amateur um, groups as well in Hong Kong and also a lot of um, small like independent companies. In recent decades, I think there are like more people watching like theatre going to theatre because people are inviting like um, pop stars to be in the um, in shows and also like that's why they drag their fans into um, theater, going to theatre and it became kind of like a pop culture thing. There are more people that are studying abroad as well like in drama school in, in different ways and also expanding their horizons and then come back to Hong Kong to work in the industry so it's getting more and more broadened. Um, in Hong Kong, there are quite a lot of like smaller independent productions nowadays, and a lot of um, companies trying to like respond to uh, like social changes as well to reflect what's going on in Hong Kong. Um, in protest, they're not like responding like immediately, but there are some people doing this. Like for example, people doing playback theatre um, in protest sites in um, 2014. Um, in the Umbrella Movement and my company was one of those companies. Can you tell me more about the protest theatre that you made? My theatre company in Hong Kong, um, it's um, called FM Theatre Power. So we are an independent um, professional theatre company. We used to make a lot of um, outdoor work and also like um, theatre uh, of the oppressed. So for example, like we do forum theatres and we do um, street performances as well and also we do like quite a lot of like rappers respond to social changes it's a good way for people to like just have a space to share their story in protest and Mm -hmm. our company did quite a lot of um playback theater so playback theater is um a interactive and um, improvisational kind of theater audience members can come up to the stage and share their real story in life to the rest of the audience and and then after the sharing, there will be about like five actors and musicians as well uh, to reenact that shared story. We kind of like work as an ensemble and derived a new form called the Play Forward Theatre, which is not only sharing and reenact um, something in the past, but also try to push it forward to see what we can foresee, what's the possibility in the future. It was really touching when people share their story. We welcome all kinds of stories. Yeah, there would be probably some people coming in just holding like opposite view. What we need to do is just to respect their story and to be truthful to their story as well. And when they're watching us like reenact their story, seeing them that they finally found out like someone really understands their feeling. It's kind of like, um, like a community building for us, mm. uh, for myself as well, is like 
um, connecting people, connecting experiences. So the performance that I did in the Volt Festival this year is called Freedom High, about the recent protests happening in Hong Kong. Um, this performance is um, made by a group of Hong Kongers, like Hong Kong artists based in London. Yeah. So there are dancers, theatre um, theater makers, and also um, musicians, etc. But also like other East Asian um, artists as well. So, um, so this project was initially initiated by um, Paper Gang Theatre. Um, we had like about two weeks of R and D. We um, had three chats together during the um, R and D. Free writing. We did a lot of researches by like reading through news and also looking through. Um, video footages. Yeah, it's a piece that in, consists of um, real life experience of ourselves as part of the protest in different ways. For example, like I was here in, in London, I couldn't physically be there to protest, but then um, there, are exper there were experience um, of me like having conversations with my friends who were actually in there, my families were actually in there, um, and also, um, yeah, different experience uh, or how we experience it through watching live streams or the yeah. protests and like being um, really emotional when we couldn't be there to, to be together with our fellow um, Hong Kongers. So we want to let people know that it's still going on and it's a, um, it's a course that we want people to be aware of and to help us in in different ways that they can to because it's um it's fighting for freedom and, and um, justice um so in london um i've started a company like two years ago so it's called it mean theater it's a um, children's theater company that it's uh, a bilingual we make um performance uh for families who are speaking cantonese and english who if um, living in London. Mm -hmm. The um, idea of like setting up this um, company is to help families to pass on their heritage language to their children because it's quite difficult when the um, when English is the like dominant language in their daily lives in school and in um, outside home as well. So parents is the is the best person best people to help children in learn in the learning of the language, especially if the parents speak the language as well. So we want to like encourage families to get together to learn together uh, so our show is um, interactive for families to participate in so it's they're not just one way just watching the show and doing nothing yeah. but they can um, play with us together sing with us together and we also have puppets um, yeah. to engage them so the puppet is a, um, a non-verbal puppet but then Nonverbal public can also help children to encourage them to speak. So our show is um, normally bilingual with um, uh, nursery rhymes that we write ourselves in Cantonese. All the nursery rhymes are um, in Cantonese. Nice. So because Cantonese is a tonal language, so that's why we try to use music to help them to understand the tone. Yeah. Of the, and also because like nursery rhyme is a really easy way to get children into something because they always sing, they love to sing and also together with movements as well, it helps them to remember things and also like remember the sound and it gets easier to, to, for them to understand what's going on. Yeah, so... Yes, of course. Yeah, because um, our show is like interactive children's show. The theatre is like an out shot, so we can't do anything. We try to um, make videos for families. We're trying to like think of different ways to engage them. Everyone's in lockdown and everyone's thinking the same way of like making shows or making things happen at home using um, like video conferencing or like um, broadcasting on YouTube and things like that. So we were like struggling to find a way to stand out yeah. from like all these similar stuff so we're still thinking actually but um what we're trying to do is now um to make use of this chance to to show our face to global audiences as well our target are families can't speaking families around the world so now is a good chance for us to like yeah. um to reach them yeah. so uh we are going to see, uh, do a trial run of a sing-along session
so it's going to be a like a sing along for families um, to join. So it will be interactive, and we can also invite people from outside the UK to join us as well. Um, so tomorrow, so far there are families from the US and Canada as well, like um, for for the sing along tomorrow. Um, looking forward to it and see how it goes. Um, if it works out well, so that we might do it like regularly. For our new show, we're trying to um, get uh, input from these families, from these um, meeting as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are doing call outs. It's like, um, we call it a little bean challenge. So ask, we ask them to um, create their Chinese character using their body oh. they, um, or like using toys, household goods. Uh, they just need to tag us and then um, this will inspire our new work and also we're going to do other different call out as well just to um to help us to do r d at this moment that yeah. we because we can't like physically see them so it would be a nice way to engage them in our activities and also to like get things input for yeah. our work as well so 